Cheers. Hello everyone, welcome back. So today's video is all about flavoring and second fermentation of kombucha. If you are not familiar with kombucha, you can check out my video how to make kombucha at home and then you will know what I'm talking about. So basically second fermentation is nothing but to give extra flavor to your kombucha. It's absolutely not necessary. Um, if you are just looking for some health benefits and you are not interested in flavoring and color, then you can just avoid second fermentation. But I like to make my kombucha a little bit colorful, a little bit flavorful. It gives me a feeling that I'm having a soda drink, but really healthy. Because kombucha is good for your gut health, your brain health. It has lots of vitamin C, minerals, antioxidants. I have said this, I think, at least thousand times in my videos. But taste-wise also, it can beat any kind of commercial soda. Ooh. Oh my God. Just look at this. If you are doing lots of fermentation at home, you know the feeling. We all crave for this kind of soda because, because this is naturally created. We have not used any artificial pressure. This is totally natural and created because of the fermentation was happening inside. Look at here, the yeast and bacteria are so active, so much carbonation, so much of fizziness. This is like dream come true. We all wait for this moment. I mean, it's very difficult to explain what kind of feeling you get when you see this kind of carbonation. Let me show you the ingredients I have used for these three bottles. There are many varieties you can use. You can use only fruits, you can use only herbs, you can mix and match fruits with herbs or herbs with spices. It's up to you. The combination is unlimited. You should use different kind of combination until you get your favorite one. Among these three, color wise, this is my favorite because it's really colorful and vibrant but flavor wise this is my favorite because I really love lemongrass. Let's add some color, some flavor to your kombucha. Second fermentation and my kombucha is ready. Now I'm going to add to the bottles I have. With this bottle you can actually have a airtight fermentation without the CO2 going out so that you will get some carbonation and some fizziness the kind of soda you like to get from the commercial drink I have approximately 1.5 liters kombucha and I'm going to use three bottles with three different flavors So I will keep some space here so that there will be enough space when there, there is any pressure building up. mass little bit with the juice and the pulp and I'm going to pour it inside Thank you. 
right so three bottles are ready for second fermentation so i will be keeping this bottles for 24 to 48 hours and i will close so three bottles and I will just give it a good shake. I don't like to add juice or extra sugar to my second fermentation because my first fermentation was quite sweet and I just want to add some fresh fruits, little bit chunky, little bit, you know, big pieces so that my yeast and bacteria will work hard and they will create more carbonation. Those who are doing fermentation at home, doing pickles or you know chepache, kombucha, coffee or other fermented drink they will all agree with me extra carbonation and fizziness gives you a different kind of happiness it's not necessary but it really makes you happy you should definitely try at home once you start making at home I can bet you you will never go for commercial drink anymore कि तेरे लिए दुनिया छोड़ दी है कि तुझ में ही सांस अटकी हुई मैं तुझको कितना चाहती हूँ कि तू कभी सोच ना सके इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो कमेंट बिलो गिव मी अ थम्स अप प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन हिट द बेल बटन लव यू ऑल तेरे इतना जो प्यार किया हर पल हर हर की तेन इतना जो प्यार किया हर पल सौ बार किया तू जाना ना मुझे छोड़ के हम्म